Curves is an extremely powerful tool in Photoshop, but many people haven't fully explored its potential. In this video, I'll show you six advanced techniques, very easy to follow, that will transform a normal image into a professional-looking piece. Don't miss out. 1. Color Cast Removal Curve For color-casted photos, simply move both ends of the curve to the sides of the histogram peak. This allows you to restore accurate exposure. 2. Highlights and Shadows Curve In the curve, add anchor points. Move the upper anchor point to adjust the highlights. The shadows will remain unaffected. Move the lower anchor point to adjust only the shadow areas. 3. Film Curve In the Brightness Curve, lift the dark point. Lower the bright point. Then, apply an S-shaped curve to bring back contrast. You'll get a photo with a film-like look. Next, go to the red and blue channels. Adjust them to create a reverse S-curve. This simulates the color tone of Kodak Gold Film. 4. Local Curve Use the eyedropper tool to pick the area you want to adjust. That spot will appear on the curve. Then, add a few more anchor points to lock the other bright areas. Now, you can make localized adjustments. Similarly, in the color curves, you can also select areas to apply color selectively. 5. Soft Light Curve Create a new curve layer. Flatten the highlights and the shadows. Then, change the blending mode of that layer to soft light. From left to right, the curve represents the dark to bright areas of the image. Since soft light allows strong adjustments, even large changes won't cause color banding. 6. Add and subtract color curve. In the curve, red, green, and blue are primary colors. Cyan, yellow, and magenta are secondary colors. Each pair is one to one. Increasing one means decreasing the other. For example, to enhance a sunset mood, you can add a bit more red. There are two methods. First, raise the red curve. This is very straightforward. Second, lower the blue or green curve. Why? because the complementary colors of blue and green are yellow and magenta. Both methods achieve the same goal of increasing red. Depending on the situation, if the image is already dark, use the first method, raise red. If the image is bright and you need to lower brightness, go with the second method, lower blue or green. And that's a wrap. Those were six powerful curves techniques simple to use yet highly effective. If you found this helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Photoshop tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.